We are here today with Dr. Gwen Marie Molinar, Provost of the University of the Virgin Islands. Dr. Molinar was the first African-American female neurophysiologist. We are very proud to have her as one of our Virgin Islands women making history. She has agreed to share some of her life with us during this interview. Gwenny, did you encounter any problems because of your race or gender? That's another great question. Yes, indeed, I did. Um, I, as I said, I went to an all-girls college, so it wasn't so difficult. Everybody could become what they wanted to become, and you were encouraged to do all that you could do, whether you, because, even though you were a girl. Um, when I got to graduate school, however, to study for my PhD degree, my doctorate, they told me that they had never graduated a person of color, a black person with a PhD degree in physiology before. And so I did not let that discourage me. I said, well, maybe I'll be the first. And I worked very hard. There were quite a number of professors there who did not like the fact that I was black and I was there. But I didn't let that bother me because I knew I had a goal in mind and I knew what I wanted to do with my life and I didn't let that deter me. I knew that after I got my degree, I would leave there and I'd have my whole life before me. So I certainly didn't let that keep me back. You spent many years teaching at the medical school at Howard University. What made you decide to return to the Virgin Islands to teach at UVI? That's another good question. Wow, you have some great questions, I've got to tell you. Well, I should say that after I got my doctorate, I went to Cornell University School of Medicine, and there I did some research on how we sleep. We don't know, people don't know why we sleep and what makes the brain go to sleep and what makes the brain wake up. So I did some very exciting research at Cornell in that area. And then from Cornell, I went to Howard University School of Medicine, as you said, and I taught there for many years. And do you know, that while I was at Howard Medical School, there were many people from the Virgin Islands who came to Howard Medical School and I taught them. And some of them are right back here in the Virgin Islands. Uh, Dr. Galibert, uh, one of the young do Dr. Galibert's I taught. I taught a number of the um, Fabios in the School of Dentistry. And so it was quite exciting seeing Virgin Islanders coming up to Howard so that I can teach. Well, I have a daughter. And when she was about four years old, I decided I wanted her to grow up in the Virgin Islands. And even though the Virgin Islands, there's no medical school here, I wanted her to grow up here because I thought it was so important. You enjoy living in the Virgin Islands as a child? Yes, I want, and I had a wonderful time as a childhood and I wanted her to share that as well. So I gave up my faculty position at the School of Medicine and I came back to the Virgin Islands because I wanted her to be a Virgin Islander. And uh, so when I returned, I started to work at the University of the Virgin Islands. What advice would you give to students today? Well, I would say for young people today that it's so exciting. This is a very exciting world and do take advantage of all that's around you. I'm so impressed with all of the young people that I see who are part of this group. And you have a wonderful, wonderful teacher. So when you find a great teacher, learn as much as you can from, from him or her. Um, be grateful for the parents that you have. And um, the sky is the limit for you. Don't let, don't hold yourself back. Don't let other people hold yourself back because I'd like you one of these days to find yourself being interviewed, having achieved as I have by a bright young lady as you are. 